The Uteranus in history is theorized to be a pack hunter due to fossils of three individual Uteranus being found together in China. Paleontologists also theorize that Uteranus hunted sauropods since they found some sauropod fossils in the same area. Hello and welcome to one of the most important creature spotlights I can provide for you. Timestamps are included in the description, so feel free to skip around to the part you need. If you want to continue growing your skills, subscribe now so you don't miss anything. Taming a Uteranus can be a challenging and dangerous process because of its amazing abilities, but first, let's talk about the trap. I recommend using a 2x3 pitfall trap with door frames that are at least too high and some ramps. I like to put an extra layer of door frames on the back of the trap to make sure the UD has something to run into as it runs over the ramp. You have a few options when it comes to actually leading the UD into the trap, but its fear and courage roars complicate things a bit, so let's talk about how they work. The fear roar is a debuff that makes non-allied creatures sprint away uncontrollably, and since it affects nearly every dino in the game, you're limited to the few unaffected creatures that you see on screen. Additionally, the fear roar can enrage certain creatures and cause them to attack, like mammoths, rock drakes, other UDs, and a few more. There are too many to list off, so I've linked the Uteranus wiki in the description. The Courage Roar is an impressive buff that gives nearby allied dinos a 25% damage increase and a 20% increase to damage resistance. On bigger, more powerful dinos, you'll see a ring above the creature's head that will continue to fill up with each Courage Roar. Once the ring fills up, it disappears and the dino gets a yellow glow around its body. The only reason to fill the ring is to increase the duration of the buff. I was curious about the specifics of the buff, so I ran a simple test. I spawned in a Carbonimus and attacked it with a Rex without any buffs applied, just base damage. Then I jumped on the UD and did a single Courage Roar, got back on the Rex while the buff was applied, and attacked the Carbonimus again, showing an increased damage output. Next, I filled the ring up and got the yellow glow around the Rex and attacked again with the same damage numbers as the first Roar. The timer lasts a surprisingly long time when the full duration of the Courage buff is applied so there's really no reason not to Courage Roar all the time. Another really nice bonus to the Courage Roar is that any nearby Carnos will briefly become allies and fight for you. This does mean that Wild UDs can have Carno companions as well. So now that you know about both of the UDs' roars and how they affect Dinos, let's talk about the taming strategy. Personally, I like to find a UD that doesn't have any Carnos with it because Carnos add another layer of difficulty to the taming process. Once I've singled one out, I park my mount a safe distance away and aggro the UD on foot. This method does require you to have at least 181% movement speed to outrun the UD, but you should be pumping movement speed as you level anyway, so this won't be a problem for most players with some experience. If you don't have enough movement speed, I'd recommend using a wyvern to lead it into the trap, although this can be a little less straightforward than being on foot. If you have a friend with you, consider using a grappling hook to grapple onto the wyvern and knocking the UD out from the sky. UDs are usually in pretty dangerous locations, so it might be a good idea to build a spike wall barrier around the trap before you begin the knockout process. Speaking of the knockout process, let's talk about taming requirements. If you're using official settings and taming a level 150 Uteranus, you'll need at least 70 Trank Darts or 98 Trank Arrows, but since the UD has a 0.3% chance of dying if you're using a crossbow, I recommend using Trank Darts and a Long Neck Rifle as a minimum. Of course, the UD's favorite food is Extraordinary Kibble, in which you'll need 20 to tame it completely, but you'll be fine using mutton, honestly. You'll need 41 raw mutton to complete the process, and it won't need any narcotics for the hour and 22 minutes it'll take to fully tame. The Uteranus has a few uses for both PvE and PvP. Anytime you fight a boss, you'll likely have a Uteranus with you to buff the creatures in your party, making the boss fights significantly easier. I mean, a 25% increase to damage is a pretty major buff. Pair that with imprinted and mate boosted dinos, and you're in for some juicy numbers. Additionally, if you're trying to do any major raids in PvP, you'll likely have a UD around to give your dinos better damage resistance. UDs can be utilized in Extinction for orbital supply drops and element farm defense, especially when you start getting higher level orbital drops. The main reason for this is because corrupted creatures in Extinction will aggro the UD instead of fleeing, making the drop less likely to be damaged. Overall, the UD is an important creature to have and is definitely one of my favorite dinos for these reasons. What do you think about the UD? Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for your time today. We'll see you in the next video.